Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you guys, uh, I'm glad to be here. I've gotten the chance and I've had the pleasure of performing for our troops all over the world. Uh, one time they sent me, to, yeah. <laughs> one time they sent me to Afghanistan in August. And if you ever get a chance to go to Afghanistan in August, don't, okay? Because when I landed, it was 132 degrees. Yes, I told a friend that, you know what he asked me? Was it a dry heat? It was 132 degrees. I don't care if it's snowing, okay? For those of you who do not know what 132 degrees feels like, realize this, when I was on the plane, I had blonde hair, blue eyes, and good credit, you know what I mean? Come on, that's hot when they mess your credit up, right? <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you guys something. You will realize this. If you leave out this country, you will realize that America is the best country. We got our problems, but America is number one. It is. It's number one. You can... And you know what you need if you want your country to be number one? Black people. You need black people. Yes. Seriously, look at Switzerland. They've never won a 100-meter race. You know why? No black people, all right? We run from the cops. I think we'll win a race. Look at Brazil, number one in soccer. You know why? Black people. You need black people. Now, I know some of you are thinking, well, what about Africa? Too many black people. I mean, after a while, it becomes a double negative. Come on, really? You got to break that up. You can't get no Steph Curry pure like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you this, man. Uh, I, I perform for the troops and stuff like that because of my dad. My dad raised me most of my life. My dad is a former sergeant in the Marines. Yeah. My dad served in Vietnam, just no one told him he was back in America, okay? Because I give it up for anyone that went into the military because you volunteered. I was forced through 14 years of boot camp, all right? Because you haven't lived till you've been woken up at 4 o'clock in the morning to be shown a proper way to clean a bathroom with live ammo being fired overhead, okay? Because a 45 would keep you focused, you know what I mean? You're like, I got bleach in my eye. Ka, ka, ka. You know what? It don't matter, just... And then on top of that, right, my dad made me a very competitive person too, because any time we played games, he was like, you must kill your enemy, you must go for the juggler, you must take no prisoners, you must kill, kill, kill. <laughs> this is Candyland, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> and my dad had one motto for Christmas, right? My dad's motto for Christmas is, you get what you get. And that's how they tell me, boy, you get what you get. So what, so what, you get what you get. I'm like, yeah, you need to stop gyrating in front of me. It's making me uncomfortable. So one Christmas, I got a Barbie doll. Yes. I had to shave the hair off and make it a G.I. Joe, right? All the other kids was outside playing, let's go fight. Mazu. Wait for me, wait for me. <laughs> oh, man. But he raised me, right? And I'm, and I'm gonna tell you this much. My dad took away like 50 of my cool points, 50. You know why? He sent me to school with a briefcase. Yes, everybody else got backpacks and book bags. I got a briefcase. And not like a cool leather briefcase, no. Remember those hard black plastic briefcases, remember that? You look like you work for the CIA or some shit like that. That's what I had to go to school with. I couldn't even run in the hall. They were like, hey, 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 hey. You gonna kill somebody like that. Stop running. <laughs> and my dad, I failed the test because of him too. This is what happened. The teacher goes, if you can pull your book out in the next five seconds, you can use it on the test. Everybody in the class is like, zip, zip. I'm in there, three, three, one. Three, three, you know what, just give me the F because it's apparent I'm not supposed to pass this class. <laughs> but he raised me and I think he did a pretty good job. I mean, look, I'm alive, I pay my taxes, right? I'm not in jail anymore. <laughs> no, I can't go to jail, look at me, look at me. <laughs> I'm built for freedom. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I go to jail. My name is Wilhelmina, okay? Just, no. <sighs> All right, cool. <clears throat> what was up at? Oh, so, okay. Uh, now, I got to tell you, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm married. I'm married now. I'm married. Yes. 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 But I used to date, and I was dating this Asian woman for a while. I was dating an Asian woman. Yeah. I, got a, I dated an Asian woman. You ever dated an Asian woman? Different, yeah. I had, I, but I had an Asian woman with none of the Asian perks, right? Like, she didn't do my laundry, she wasn't submissive, I didn't get no massage, none of that shit. <laughs> this is what I woke up to every morning. I woke up to this every morning. She's like, get up, you need a job, why are you just waiting there? You're so lazy, get up, get off computer, stop touching yourself. I'm like, what? I could have got this in LaQuisha, what's wrong with you? Now, I do the accent because she's from Japan, right? Born and raised. Like, English is like her third or fourth language. Because I'm pretty sure anger is her second. Uh, <laughs> and she would cook, right? She would cook for me and cook breakfast. Now, I got to tell you, I'm originally from Texas. And I don't know if you know this, but Asians aren't really high on the seasonings, right? Like, she would cook and put the food on the table, go to the kitchen, get a raw egg, come back and be like, like, that's the creme de la creme. I'm like, uh, I'm from Texas. I like my shit fried, you know what I mean? I like fried food so much, if you could fry my water, I would like that even better, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, <laughs> and then one time, she cooked fried chicken and collard greens in a wok. <laughs> and then she goes, yo, people like this, right? What you mean, my people, right? I'm getting angry, but I only take the argument so far because she's Asian, and I know I'm thinking in the back of my mind some shit gonna kick in, and she gonna be like, wah, right? Like, you ever see an Asian person go, wah? Like, oh shit, they know something, right? It's like the equivalent of a black man doing this. You see a black man do this? He's like, oh shit, he got a weapon, right? Like, if I was up here right now, butt naked, and I did this, like, oh shit, he got a gun in his ass. That's where they keep it. <laughs> That's why they booty stick out like that. Look, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, I know how to get her. I know how to get her. I go, hey, you want to go watch this movie, Pearl Harbor? <laughs> She's like, fuck you, fuck you. America knew we were coming. America knew we were coming. I was like, no, we didn't. We didn't know. We didn't know. She goes, yes, uh, your people knew. I was like, first of all, my people weren't even on the island at that time, so. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you this. But don't trip, okay? Don't trip. I don't have a big penis. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I'm not sleeping with anybody in this room. I don't. But she has little hands. So my penis in her hands looks huge, <laughs> right? So every night she's like, ah, Godzilla, 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 ah! We punch Godzilla, ah! We bite Godzilla. I'm like, uh 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 uh. We don't bite Godzilla. <laughs> we kiss and lick Godzilla. <laughs> <sighs> but now I'm married. Yay. <laughs> married to a black woman. Because uh, I, like, I like ads. I like a big, big old, big old boot. You know, I like it big. You know what I mean? I like it big. I mean, I like it real big. I like a booty so big, I gotta go, whose section is this? Whose section is this? <laughs> 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 oh, man. But now, I gotta tell you guys, uh, being married is a great thing. It is. It is a great thing, right? But this is the thing. Being married now, I want to make more money, right? I want to make more money. So I really do want to be rich and famous. I do. People say, be careful what you ask for, as you just may get it. But I want to be rich and famous, because to me, rich people do not have problems. You don't. And, and look, no one in this audience knows. So, <laughs> I'm like, shit. <laughs> and like, yes, no, let me tell you something. If you were rich, we'd be doing this at your house. So, uh, 
Seriously, think about it. <laughs> think about it. Think about it. When, you, when you're rich and you drive an old car that's vintage and it's part of a collection. When you're broke and you drive an old car, that's a bucket. And it's probably in collections. <laughs> when you're rich and you got problems, you can go on vacation and think about your problems. When you're broke and you got problems, you go to the bathroom. Right? And you walk into a rich person's house, you breathe completely different, right? You walk into a rich person's house, you're like, oh my God, what is that smell? Is that vanilla and lilac? Uh, who the fuck? When you're broke and you walk into a broke person's house, you're like, what the fuck is that smell? Are y'all shitting in this room? What the? <laughs> I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna do this real quick. Cause rich people. There's one rich guy that I really love, and that's and that's Prince. Even though we lost Prince. We've lost Prince, right? We lost Prince, but I love Prince. And I always wanted to see Prince sing a children's song, right? Because it'd be the creepiest song you'd ever want to see. You see Prince come out just Humpty Dumpty <laughs> Sat on the wall <laughs> Humpty Dumpty <laughs> Had a great fall <laughs> And all the king's horses And all the king's men. Hey, my name is Willis Turner. Thank you guys. This has been a Funny Media Group production.